The sports medicine course is run by coaches and trainers Pablo Riera and Brittany Thibodeau. The main purpose of sports medicine is to treat and prevent injuries in athletes. Students describe what the course is all about. At football games and at practice, we provide water for the players, we wrap injuries, we clean wounds. Sports med, we kind of learn like different parts of the body and how to like care and treat it if it were to get injured. Taping and giving water make sure to make sure that like the players are like hydrated. At the football games, um, you're getting like, experience of seeing what it's like to be an actual sports trainer like Pablo and Dr. Team. So at football games, we're mostly focused on injuries um, and also water intake. We go through like courses throughout the school day because we have it second period and we're taught about like dehydration and hydration of the athletes and also like the different types of wounds and whatnot so at games we're mostly focused on that. At practice it's mostly focusing on like the water intake of the boys because we don't want them to get overheated or anything. While athletes are mainly treated by professionals, student trainers are permitted to assist with minor injuries. Students share why they decided to join the sports medicine class. I've been a part of sports medicine since the beginning of my freshman year, so for about a year and a half. It's made me a happier person overall, and um, it's something that I look forward to every day. I started sports medicine this year. It's definitely helped me figure out certain life skills, like how to improvise if something random were to happen. I've been like involved in sports all my life, and it's something I enjoy, and I like helping people. So. It taught me a lot about like the human biology and basic anatomy, and um, like different ways to take care of yourself. Although many students consider sports medicine to be an easy course, students in the program believe differently. We're not just water girls. Without us, like the football players would definitely have more difficulty doing their stuff and it's an underrated or underappreciated kind of job. It is a lot of work to go out there day after day. I'd say it's a lot harder than it looks. A lot of people just think, oh, well, they just carry creative water out there, but you do actually learn a lot about the human system. Um, we're not just water girls, and we actually do a lot more for the team than you would think. Senior Gabriella Hall shares how being a basketball team manager has affected her experience in sports med. Originally, I thought I'd just take it for um, basketball to be able to take care of our athletes because when we go to games, the first thing we do is try and find the trainer's room so that people can get things wrapped or taken care of. And if injuries happen on the court, we have to run and find a trainer. Whereas if the managers have a background in it, we are able to um, kind of take a step in and start already with the person. Many students in sports medicine plan on continuing in the future. Students share what their future plans are and how they have implemented sports medicine into their lives. I do plan on continuing sports medicine into my college life and for a career because it's one of my passions and I find it really fun and interesting. Well, I'm thinking about being an athletic trainer, so obviously that would um, impact it quite a bit. And I think even if I weren't going to go into the field with it, it's just good to know because it's an understanding of the human body. Yeah, I want to be a physical therapist as like my career. So like this is like a lot of experience and like to actually make sure this is what I want to do. Sports training and physical therapy are two different things, but like also very similar. Yeah, I think it would help me with like you know like people, like people stuff, and then it also help me with like career, what I want to do.